echoes of empire, from colonial brutality to modern-day racism. The incident in Southport is one that fills the heart with deep sorrow and grief. The senseless act of violence that unfolded in this once peaceful community has left a lasting scar, not just on the immediate victims, but on all who cherish the values of humanity, tolerance, and respect. It is a tragic reminder of the fragility of these values in the face of hatred and bigotry. The pain and suffering caused by this incident are profound, and the echoes of this brutality resonate far beyond the confines of Southport. This act has shaken the very foundation of what it means to live in a society that prides itself on justice and equality, forcing us to confront the uncomfortable truth that such hatred still exists among us. The incident in Southport serves as a grim reminder of the lingering shadows of colonialism that continue to haunt modern society. The behavior exhibited by the perpetrators was not an isolated act of brutality, but rather a reflection of the deeply ingrained ideologies that have been passed down through generations. This incident is symptomatic of a much larger and more sinister issue, a resurgence of the very same attitudes of superiority, racism, and hatred that characterized the colonial powers during their heyday. The brutish actions of those involved reveal a nation that, despite its claims of progress and civilization, is still tethered to the dark and violent past of its colonial era. The British Empire, at the height of its power, was notorious for its oppressive tactics and systematic exploitation of its colonies. The empire's expansion was driven by a belief in the superiority of the white race and the inferiority of the colonized peoples. This belief justified the subjugation, exploitation, and dehumanization of millions of people across Asia, Africa, and the Americas. The racist ideologies that underpinned colonialism were not just confined to the fringes of society, but were deeply embedded in the cultural, political, and economic fabric of the nation. The colonial project was not just about the acquisition of territories, but also about the imposition of a particular worldview, a worldview that saw non-white, non-Christian peoples as inferior and in need of civilization. In the modern era, these ideologies have not disappeared. They have simply taken on new forms. The incident in Southport is a stark example of how these old prejudices continue to manifest in contemporary society. The perpetrators of the attack were not just acting out of individual malice, but were channeling a broader societal attitude, one that still views Muslims and other minority groups as other and as a threat to the social order. This attitude is a direct descendant of the colonial mindset, which viewed non-white peoples as dangerous and in need of control. The British Empire's legacy of brutality and racism is well documented. From the brutal suppression of the Indian Rebellion of 1857 to the massacre at Amritsar in 1919, the empire used violence and terror to maintain control over its colonies. The British justified these actions by dehumanizing the people they ruled, portraying them as savage, uncivilized, and incapable of self-governance. This dehumanization made it easier for the British to justify the atrocities they committed, as they did not see their subjects as fully human. This same dehumanization is evident in the actions of those who perpetrated the attack in Southport. By targeting a Muslim individual, they were not just committing an act of violence against a person, but were also expressing a broader disdain for a group that they view as alien and threatening. This hatred is not new. It is the same hatred that fueled the British Empire's expansion and exploitation of the Muslim world. From the invasion of Egypt in 1882 to the partition of India in 1947, the British Empire consistently acted in ways that marginalized and oppressed Muslim communities. The incident in Southport is also a reflection of the broader societal issues facing Britain today. Despite the progress that has been made in terms of civil rights and equality, Racism and Islamophobia are still pervasive, 
The rise of far-right movements and the increasing visibility of hate crimes are clear indicators that these issues are far from being resolved. The rhetoric used by these movements often echoes the language of the colonial era, with calls to take back our country and protect our way of life, serving as thinly veiled references to a time when Britain ruled over a vast empire. The colonial project was not just about the domination of foreign lands. It was also about the domination of the minds and bodies of the colonized. The British Empire sought to impose its values, culture, and religion on its subjects, often through violent means. This cultural imperialism was justified by the belief that the British were bringing civilization to the savage peoples of the world. However, the reality was that this so-called civilization was built on a foundation of violence, exploitation, and racism. The incident in Southport is a reminder that these same attitudes are still present in British society today. The resurgence of these colonial attitudes is not just a problem for Britain, it is a global issue. The legacy of colonialism is still felt in many parts of the world, particularly in the Global South. The economic and social inequalities that were created during the colonial period continue to persist, and the ideologies that justified colonialism are still used to justify oppression and exploitation today. The incident in Southport is a reminder that the fight against racism and hatred is far from over, and that the legacies of colonialism must be confronted and dismantled. The British Empire's history of brutality and racism is not something that can be easily forgotten or ignored. The actions of the perpetrators in Southport are a stark reminder that these attitudes are still very much alive in British society. The colonial mindset that justified the subjugation and exploitation of millions of people across the globe has not disappeared. It has simply adapted to the modern world. The resurgence of far-right movements, the increasing visibility of hate crimes, and the persistence of racism and Islamophobia are all evidence that the legacy of colonialism is still very much a part of British society. To truly move beyond this legacy, there must be a reckoning with the past. The British Empire's history of violence and exploitation cannot be erased, but it can be confronted. This means acknowledging the atrocities that were committed in the name of empire and recognizing the ways in which these actions continue to shape contemporary society. It also means addressing the structural inequalities that were created during the colonial period and that continue to persist today. The incident in Southport is a tragic reminder that the fight against racism and hatred is far from over. The brutal actions of the perpetrators are not just an isolated act of violence, but are part of a broader societal problem. The colonial attitudes that justified the exploitation and oppression of millions of people are still present in British society, and they continue to manifest in acts of violence and hatred. The legacy of colonialism is not just a historical issue. It is a contemporary one that must be confronted if there is to be any hope of building a more just and equitable society. To dismantle the structures of racism and hatred, it is essential to address the root causes of these issues. This means challenging the ideologies that underpin them and working to create a society that is truly inclusive and equitable. It also means holding those who perpetrate acts of violence and hatred accountable for their actions and ensuring that they are not allowed to act with impunity. The incident in Southport is a call to action, a reminder that the fight against racism and hatred is not over and that there is still much work to be done. In conclusion, the incident in Southport is a stark reminder of the ways in which the legacy of colonialism continues to shape contemporary society. The brutish actions of those involved are not just an isolated incident, but are part of a broader societal problem. The racist and Islamophobic attitudes that were used to justify the British Empire's expansion and exploitation of the Muslim world are still present in British society today. The fight against these attitudes is far from over and it is essential that we confront the legacy of colonialism if we are to build a more just and equitable society.
The incident in Southport is a tragic reminder of the work that still needs to be done and a call to action for all those who seek to create a better world.